Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we will discuss converting region measure to degree measure and vice versa. So meron na akong video na ginawa na ito last uh, year. Pero medyo, ano kasi medyo baguhan pa ako nun. So I make an adjustment for this video. So meaning to say, kung ano meron dun sa video na yon same lang din naman dito sa video na to. So proceed na tayo sa lesson. So right. So by definition muna tayo paano ano nga ba meron sa uh, converting region measure to degree measure and vice versa. So uh, when we are talking about angles, so ang ang angle can be measured through degree and through region. So degree ay meron degree symbol, mas madali na ma-determine si degree symbol. Okay? So si region Ano meron sa radian? By definition, one radian is the measure of an angle. So, yun nga. Measurement siya ng angle. Ha? In standard position, whose terminal side intercept an arc of length S. So, meaning to say, nakakabuo siya ang radian kapag ka, a given angle na nakakabuo na arc. Okay? So, which is arc, which is meron siyang length of S. Okay? A type of measurements din siya ng angle. Okay? So, ngayon, Radian, uh, a one radian can be measured, uh, uh, the, the equivalent of one radian, so te technically one radian is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay, so uh, symbolized by phi or phi rad, uh, radians. So take, uh, in terms of angle, uh, ang phi, um, that is equivalent to a 180 degrees. Iba pa pag pinag-usapan natin si phi into, in, in terms of sa length. Okay? So, therefore, kung phi is 180 degrees, which is a half of circle, diba? so, a full rotation is equivalent to 2 phi, which is 360 degrees. Okay? So, always remember yan. Ha? Na phi, in terms sa angle, phi is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay? So, ngayon, ang formula, formula in converting radian to degree measure and vice versa. Okay, ito yung mga formula. To convert from degree. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka degree ang given mo, i-convert mo to radian measure. Ang kailangan mo lang operation is multiply the degree. Ha? Multiply degree measure. Ibig sabihin, yung given degree to pi radians over 180 degrees or pi over 180 degrees. Yan mo lang siya i-multiply. Kapag ka naman ang given mo is region measure, nasa region measurement siya, para ma-determine mo na may region measurement yun, meron siya presence ng phi symbol. Okay, tapos gusto mo i-convert to degree measure. Ang kailangan mo lang, same lang rin ng rules, multiply pa rin ang operation natin. Yung multiply natin yung region measure, ibig sabihin yung given natin, dito. So, 180 degrees over pi regions or 180 degrees over pi. So, proceed na tayo sa example kung paano i-apply yung mga formulas na yan. So, paano mag-convert ng region measure to degree measure. So, proceed tayo sa example number 1. Example number 1, convert phi over 6 regions to degrees. So, phi over 6. So, meaning to say, ang given natin is i-radian. Naka-radian form siya. Pi over 6. I-co-convert natin sa degrees. So, paano nga ba formula natin doon? Okay? Going back doon sa formula, pwede nyo i-back doon. Tingnan natin kung anong formula. I-multiply natin siya sa 180 degrees over pi. Okay? So, we're in. So, kapag may-multiply natin siya, cross-multiply, pwede natin cancel out. So, cancel, cancel, yung matitira natin, 180 degrees over 6, and that is, gives us, 180 divided by 6 gives us 30 degrees. So, therefore, pi over 6 is equivalent to 30 degrees. Okay? Ganun, siya lang, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, ganun lang kadali. Kailangan lang natin kabisado, kung pi over, uh, a radian form, yung multiply natin 180 over pi, kung 
kung radian siya, ay degree siya to radian, that is pi over 180. Imumultiply natin sa pi over 180. Okay? So, that is the first example natin. Ganun lang, kabilis lang, no? So, pusa tayo sa example number 2. How about convert 45 degrees to radian? So, meaning to say, degrees na ang given natin, i-convert natin to radians. Formula natin doon is times uh, pi over 180 degrees. Okay? So, yun na. Dapat na tandaan yung formula doon sa unang ano natin. So, therefore, uh, numerator times numerator, since this is a whole number, technically, meron yung denominator na 1. Okay? So, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 45 degrees uh, pi over 180. Okay? So, para sa may degrees dyan, makakancel yan. Pero technically, kailangan lang muna natin i-reduce muna to lowest term. So, kailangan natin alamin ang GCF ng, 100, ng 45 and 180 degrees. So, ano nga bang ginagawa natin pagka nag-GCF tayo? So, 45 and 180. Diba? Una is kinukuha natin yung lowest prime number na pwede mag-divide dun sa given number. Okay? So, lowest prime number. Prime numbers are those numbers na ang divisor is 1 and itself. Okay? So, ano ba lowest prime number? Hindi siya sa, na pwede mag-divide sa 45. Now, we're in. Ang ibibigay sa atin is whole number. Okay? So, lowest prime number is 2. Pero pag dinivide na sa 45, bibigyan niya tayo ng decimal number. So, hindi pwede si 2. Pwede, sunod natin, di kung hindi pwede si 2 na lowest prime number, deposit tayo sa next, which is 3. 3, uh, yung 3, pwede, pwede mag-divide sa 45, so therefore, pwede natin lagay si 3. 3 divided by 4, uh, 45 divided by 3, other, ang bibigyan natin is, uh, the result is 15. 15 is not a prime number, so easy po tayo ng another lowest prime number na pwede mag-divide naman doon sa 15, which is also, 3 ulit. Tama? 3 divided, 15 divided by 3 gives us 5. 5 is a prime number. So, lagyan na natin siya. Okay? O, ganun lang process natin. Okay? So, ngayon, how about 180? So, tayo ng pinaka-lowest prime number na pwede, which is 2. Uh, Di ba? 180 divided by 2, that gives us 90. Tama? 90 is not a prime number. So, isip ulit tayo ng lowest prime number, which is also 2. Tama? 90 divided by 2 gives us 45. And which is 45 is not a prime number. Pero ito yun eh. So, therefore, ang factors niya is 3 times 3 times 5. Okay? So, GCF is the greatest common factor. So, kunin lang natin yung common sa kanila. Which is pare-pareha sila niyan. Uh, pare-pareha sila mayroon ba niyan. So, therefore, ang factors nito, ang common factors nila, which is 3 times 3 gives us 9 times 5 gives us 45. So, therefore, since degree yan, 45 degrees, therefore, the uh, GCF of 45 and 180 degrees is 45 degrees. So, divide natin both side by 45. Okay? 45 degrees. So, 45 degrees divided by 45 degrees. Cancel, cancel. Matitira natin is pi. Tama? 180 degrees divided by 45 degrees gives us 4. Okay? So, therefore, 45 degrees is equivalent to 5 over 4. Okay? Ganun lang siya kadali. And, so, meron na tayong example how to convert um, from degrees to radian and from radian to degrees. Okay? So, ganun lang. Kailangan lang natin i-remember kung anong na, uh, sa anong format natin siya i-multiply. Okay? So, ang clue lang natin dun, Kung naka-degree form, okay, naka-degree form, dapat nasa denominator yung mayroong degree form. Kung mayroong naka, mayroong siyang uh, presence ng pi, so therefore naka-radian form siya. So dapat ang denominator lagi ng multiplier natin yung pi. Okay, yun lang naman ang clue natin doon. So, let's say for example, number 3. Let's say this one. Find the radian measure of 120 degrees. So, same lang din kanina, nung sa example number 2 natin, multiply natin to sa 5 over 180 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, may denominator to na 1. Ha? So, 
So therefore, this is 120 degrees pi over 180 degrees. So, pwede nyo yung video. Um, try to compute kung ano GCF na ito, then claim nyo agad kung nakuha nyo na yung GCF or kung nakuha nyo na yung lowest term kasi kailangan pa natin yung lowest term. Okay? So game? A few moments later. Alright, tingnan natin kung ano GCF. GCF of uh, GCF of 120 and 180 is 60. Ano ba? Pareha? 60 degrees. So, pwede siyang i-divide both side by 60 degrees. So therefore, this is 120 divided by 60 gives us 2 pi. Tama? All over 180 degrees divided by 60 degrees gives us 3. So therefore, 120 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi over 3. Okay? Pares ba tayo? 60 degrees. I hope naging parehas tayo by applying GC. Okay? So proceed tayo. How about Example number 4. How about this one? Convert negative 2 pi over 3 radians to degrees. So how about, paano kung negative? Pwede ganun lang din. Kung negative ang radians, therefore, ang equivalent uh, degrees niya is negative din. Okay? So kung negative ang degrees, therefore, negative din ang radians niya. So tingnan natin. This is two, negative 2 pi over 3. Kung convert natin sa degrees, so i-multiply natin siya sa 180 degrees over 5, cancel natin to, cancel to, negative 2 times 180 degrees gives us negative 360 over 3, okay, divide by 3 gives us negative 120 degrees. So therefore, negative 2 pi over 3 is equivalent to negative 120 degrees. Ganun lang siya kabisa. Okay? So, ganun lang. Kapag ka-negative, di negative din siya. Kung positive, di positive din yung equivalent. Okay? How about this example? Find the first two coterminal angles, one positive and one negative of the region. Three, uh, pi, uh, pi over 3, express the answer in degrees. Okay? So, we need to say, kailangan natin convert to into the first, uh, we need to determine the first two coterminal angles. So, Pwede natin gawin, since ang answer naman natin is naka-degree, pwede natin convert to. So, let's say, convert natin yung pi over 3. Okay? So, i-multiply natin sa 180 degrees over pi. Tama? So, cancel. Cancel gives us 180 degrees over 3 gives us 60. Tama? So, to determine the first coterminal angle, PCA natin, is we add 360. Tama? So, 60 degrees plus 360 degrees. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, one full rotation. So, to determine the first coterminal angle. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo magkaroon kayo ng idea kung paano kunin yung first coterminal angles, kung bago lang kayo dito sa channel ko, meron akong video na ginawa dyan understanding angles in rectangular coordinate system. Diniscuss ko doon kung paano kunin ang coterminal angles. So, panorin nyo na lang siya kung paano. Okay? So, add lang tayo dyan. So, give us 420 degrees. Okay? So, kung gusto natin kunin yung negative coterminal angles, so, subtract lang tayo from 60 degrees minus 360 degrees. So, gives us negative 300 degrees. Okay? So, ito yung dalawang coterminal angles na Okay? So, this is the first uh, way to compute. Okay? Choice nyo na lang. Bahala na lang kayo kung gusto nyo gawitin yan or gamitin yung isa. So, paano naman yung isa? Di ba kanina sa introduction natin sa video, sabi ko nga, a phi is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay? One full rotation in terms sa angle, uh, one, rota uh, one phi is equivalent to 180. So, therefore, at full rotation, which is 2 pi, is equivalent to 360 degrees. So, kung makapansin nyo, nag a lang naman tayo ng 360 at nagsusubdrock tayo. So, therefore, kung naka-radiant yan, di, pwede ka namang pag-add ng 2 pi at magsubdrock ng 2 pi. Okay? Kasi bakit, paano kung ang, ang given problem, di naman kailangan express sa angle, kaya sa degree. Kailangan lang hanapin yung coterminal sa ka, uh, first positive coterminal sa first negative coterminal. 
So kung yun lang ang kailangan hanapin, di matrabaho kung gagawin mo, i-convert mo, tapos lalagay mo dyan, then ibabalik mo sa radio. So kung ganun naman ang uh, case, try natin to. Okay? So kung therefore, pwede ka namang recta na mag-add ng 2 pi. So add tayo ng 2 pi. Since it, this is a fraction form, gawin na natin fraction yan, 2 pi over 1. Ha? So paano ba tayo nag-add? Di ba? We get the LCD. So the LCD niyan, since 1 naman to, so therefore, paano yung denominator niya isa? Which is 3. 3 divided by 3 gives us 3 times 5 gives us 5. Ah, di ba? Tama? 3 divided by 3 gives us, uh, that is 1 times 5. That is 5. Copy the operation, which is plus. 3 divided by 1, that is 3 times 2, 5 gives us 6, 5. So which is, equivalent to 5 plus 6, 5 gives us 7 over 3. Okay? So, kung hindi naman kailangan express yung answer natin into degrees, ito na yung answer. Kasi kung ang hinahanap lang naman, kung yung uh, first coterminal angles nito, hindi na natin kailangan express. Hindi, ito na yun. Pero since ang kailangan natin express into degree, di convert natin to into degree by multiplying 180 degrees over pi. Cancel, cancel gives us 7 times 180 degrees, that is 1,260 degrees over 3. And divide by 3 gives us 420 degrees, which is the same. The same lang rin ito. Same lang rin naman yan. Kasi na, ang ina-add mo lang rin naman 360. Same lang din ang magiging result niya. So, bahala na kayo kung alin ang trip ninyo dyan. Depende pa rin case to case basis kung Sakali man ang hinihingi lang naman ay hindi na naka-degree. Kung radiant lang, hinihingi lang first positive, I recommend ganito yun yun. Pero kung kailangan i-degree, oh yun. Natingin ko mas maiksi itong isa eh. Okay? So at least pinakita ko sa inyo yung two rules. How about kung minus? Let's say, three, pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 1. Okay? Oh. So same lang din naman ang process niya. So that is 3. 3 divided by 3, this, that is 1 times 5 gives us 5. Copy the, uh, the operation, which is minus. 3 divided by 1, that is 3 times 2, 5 gives us 6, 5. And that is, gives us negative 5, 5 over 3. So, kung hindi na naman kailangan i-degree, the final answer na to. So, since kailangan natin by, by the problem, kailangan natin i-convert siya sa Degrees, so multiply natin sa so 180 degrees over 5. So cancel, cancel gives us negative 5 times 180 degrees gives us nine, negative 900 degrees. Okay? Divided by 3 gives us negative 300 degrees. Which is the same lang din ito. Parehas lang yun. Okay? So bahala na kayo kung uh, alin ang trip ninyo kung ganyan yung kasi ng certain problem. Right? So, how about this one? Find the reference angle for 13 pi over 6. Express your, the answer in radian. So, 13 pi over 6, which is, um, ang hinihingi reference, uh, uh, reference angle, which is, kung babalikan ninyo yung video, meron akong video about dun sa reference angle. Ay, yung mga bago lang sa channel ko. Lalagay ko na lang yung link sa description below kung paano kunin ang reference angle. So, kung babalikan doon, ang mga cases lang natin doon ay naka, uh, naka restricted for degrees. So, kesa mag-convert pa tayo into regions doon sa bawat cases doon, eh di convert na lang natin itong given to an angle. So, 13 pi over 6. Convert muna natin to an angle. So, therefore, i-multiply natin siya sa 180 degrees over pi. Okay? So, cancel, cancel. So, this is 13 times 180 degrees gives us 2,340 degrees. Okay? Divided by 6. So, divided by 6 gives us 300 90 degrees. Okay? So, alamin natin kung anong under siya. So, sa, sa, in terms of reference. So, kung pinanood yung video, itong 300, 
90 degrees is under case number 5, which is greater than 360C390. So, kailangan natin mag-subtract ng 360 dun sa given angle natin hanggang sa makakuha tayo ng given angle na less than 360, which is 390 minus 360 gives us 30 degrees. And then, we we will determine kung, ali, kung nasaan case yung result. Kung case 1 ba siya, 2, 2 or 3 or 4. Okay, alamin natin doon. So, we're in 30 degrees is under case number 1. Okay, which is 30 degrees is less than 90 degrees. Ma? So, since less than 90 degrees siya, therefore, that is the reference angle. By under case number 1. Okay? So, since ang kailangan naman dito, i I express natin yung answer natin to radians so hindi pa to final so i-multiply natin siya so i-convert natin siya to into radians so by multiplying pi over 180 degrees so therefore gives us 30 pi 30 degrees pi over 180 degrees so GCF GCF niyan that is 30 degrees so kung ayaw niyo pumayag you may post the video and then compute kung 30 nga talaga so by ayan, so by dividing both sides by 30 degrees, 30 degrees divided by 30 degrees gives us pi. 180 degrees divided by 30 degrees gives us 6. Okay? So therefore, the reference angle of 13 pi over 6 is pi over 6. Okay? So ganun lang siya kadali. Okay. So Nidaan na naman natin sa lahat ng example. Nakaanim tayo ng example for this video. No? So, ayun nga, sabi ko nga, this is the uh, enhanced version of the first video ko na ginawa. Meron na rin na ganyan. Same lang rin naman yung mga given. Okay? So, meron lang ako dito dinagdag. Okay? So, complete the table by converting degree measure to region measure or vice versa. So, ayun, kung gusto nyo mag-practice kung paano mag-convert, ayan, kung talagang natutunan nyo na. Ayan. Lagay nyo na lang, comment down below yung answer ninyo dito sa mga to. Okay? Hindi naman kailangan lahat. Kung gusto nyo lahat, hindi mas maganda. Kung ayaw nyo lahat, okay lang rin naman. So, that all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And then, if you're looking to uh, Filipino lecture video, I highly recommend Philtech TV. And then, also follow us on our Facebook page, Matt and Philtech TV. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.